We begin by defining a restaurant app class, this groups the menu, orders, and all the behaviors together so the program stays organized as it grows. The constructor runs when you create the app object, here we set up the initial menu and an empty orders list so the app has a known starting state. We store a simple dictionary in self.menu where keys are item names and values are prices, this makes price lookup quick and the data easy to read. Self.orders starts as an empty list, each time a customer orders something we'll append the item name to this list so we can review and bill later. Show underscore menu is a read-only method that prints the current menu, it's useful for letting the user see what they can order before they pick anything. We print a header with a little emoji to make the menu stand out, the leading backslash n adds a blank line to visually separate the menu from previous output. Looping over self.menu.items gives us both the item name and its price so we can present them together in each line of the menu. Each menu line shows the item name followed by its price in a readable format, simple and clear for the user. Take underscore order handles adding a chosen item to the current orders list, it uses dot title, to normalize user input so names match the menu keys. We prompt the user for the item name and call dot title, so inputs like pizza or pizza match the self dot menu keys which are capitalized. Before adding the order we check the menu dictionary to confirm the item exists, this prevents invalid orders and keeps the UX predictable. If the item is valid we append its name to self.orders so it becomes part of the current bill. A short confirmation tells the user the item was successfully added immediate feedback is friendly and reduces confusion. If the item isn't in the menu we follow the else branch so we can inform the user rather than failing silently. This message tells the user the requested item isn't on the menu and invites them to try again or view the menu. View underscore orders prints the list of ordered items, it handles the empty case gracefully so the user knows when there are no orders. We check if self.orders is empty to avoid printing an empty list and to provide a helpful message instead. A clear notification that no orders have been placed yet, this avoids confusing blank output. If there are orders, we'll present them in a numbered, readable format so the user can review what they've requested. We print a header for the orders list, the emoji and new line help the output feel organized and easy to scan. Enumerating with a start of 1 gives a human-friendly index next to each order, which is handy if you later add removal or modification features. Each order is printed on its own line with an index so the list is easy to read. Total underscore bill computes the sum of prices for all ordered items and prints the result, a simple aggregation step that turns orders into a payable amount.
We use a generator expression to look up each ordered item's price in self.menu and sum them. This keeps the code concise and readable. Finally, we print the total bill so the user knows how much they owe. Clear, direct feedback for the billing step. The run method contains the interactive loop that ties everything together and responds to the user's menu choices. We use an infinite loop so the menu keeps appearing until the user explicitly chooses to exit, a common pattern in CLI applications. Each loop iteration starts by printing a header so the menu is visually separated from earlier output and easy to spot. We display the available actions in a compact block so the user can quickly choose what they want to do next. We read the user's selection as a string so it can be compared against the menu options below. If the user picks one we'll call show underscore menu to display the menu. Calling self.show underscore menu prints the menu and returns control back to the loop for the next action. If the user picks two, we enter the take order flow, which interacts with the user to add an item to the orders. This calls take underscore order, which prompts the user for an item and appends it to the orders list if valid. If three is chosen, we show the current list of orders without changing anything. Call view underscore orders, which prints the orders or a friendly message if none exist. If the user picks 4 we calculate and display the total bill. Calling total underscore bill, sums the prices for the ordered items and prints the total. When the user selects 5 they want to quit, so we'll print a goodbye message and break the loop. A friendly exit message gives clear feedback that the program is ending. Break exits the while true loop and returns control to the caller, ending the interactive session. If the input doesn't match any valid option we handle it here to keep the program user-friendly and robust. This message tells the user their selection wasn't understood and invites them to try again. Finally we create a restaurant app instance and call.run to start the interactive menu so the user can immediately begin using the application.